me, host of Your Best Body Ever. Let's get started. Today we're going to warm up for two minutes and then we're going to work our biceps. We have a great bicep workout here today and you're going to do it with me. So let's get started. I'm going to pick up my weights. I have them right here. I'm using fives today. You can use eights, you can use tens, you can go as heavy as possible because you don't want to be afraid to build muscle. I'm going to start with a regular bicep curl right here. Watch my form. You see what I'm doing? Coming up and squeezing and turning back down on the bottom. I'm going to do 20 reps and you're going to do it with me right here. I'm going to breathe right here, nice and easy. Now it's important to have nice strong biceps. Keeps the shape of the arm, makes you look tight and toned, and you remember that muscle is what keeps your metabolism going. All right, that was 20. We're going to put it down, <coughs> and we're going to rest for 30 seconds. You don't want to rest too long in between reps, in between sets, because you want to keep that uh, metabolism going. So get ready. We're going to pick them right up again, right here. Ready, form, shoulders are back, my abs are engaged, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, come on, you can do it, six, good, let's go, eight, yes, nine, I really want you to control it all the way up, also on the way down, the negative, 13, 14, I'm already feeling it, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. Put them down. Let's rest again. Remember, if you have questions about today's workout, you can inbox me on the bottom of the page. Ask me questions about diet, exercise, at DannyTV.com. Just fill in that box. Are you ready? Let's pick them up again. Remember, the athletic stance. Shoulder blades are back. Here we go. One, two, three. Three, watch my pace. Don't want to go too fast. Right there. Six, seven, you're doing great. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Remember, I'm a mom, just like you, and we can do this. This is no excuse not to do this. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, looking good. Nineteen, and 20. Woo! Great job. That was our first exercise. Now, when you turn your arm or turn your body part different direction, you're going to utilize the same muscle a different way. So we're just going to turn our hands out. We're going to pick up the weights again. I'm getting into my athletic stance. My knees are bent. My glutes are engaged. My core is tight. I'm turning my hands out, working the inner head of the bicep. Remember, the bicep has two heads. You want to make sure that you work both sides to get that nice round shape. Watch me, I'm coming up and down, up and down. Come on, let's go. You might feel that this is a little more challenging because normally the inside is a little less strong than the outer longer part of the bicep. Doing great. Woo! Come on, do them with me. Five more. Four, three, two, and squeeze it out. Great job. Put them down. Here's a good time to stretch a little bit. To stretch your bicep, you want to grab something that's behind you and lengthen the bicep all the way up here. Okay, you can grab even your door post at home and stretch those biceps. Awesome job. Let's do it again. Let's keep that heart rate up. Here we go. One. Two, good, three, four, five. Just think of the rewards. Looking good in your clothing, feeling strong when you're lifting your groceries. All this is good for you. It's meant to make you feel better and stronger. Doing great. Come on. We got ten more. Count with me. Nine. Come on. Eight. Seven. Yes. Six, good, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. 
I'm gonna put it down for a second. Again, get a little heart rate. If you want, get some water. If you're gonna already feel a little bit sweaty, so towel off. And let's finish off this set. Now remember again, I'm using fives, but you could go heavier. Here we go. One, two. Let's finish this set strong, okay? Yes. Five, six, seven. Now notice how when I'm squeezing all the way up there, I'm getting that definition even in my shoulder. So the bicep is going to help you get that little curve, that nice little sexy shape right there. You see that? I know you can do it. Come on. We got 13. We got 14. We're almost there. Come on. 15. Squeeze them out. 16. 17. 18. 19. And 20. Good job. Putting them down again. And we'll be right back with more from Janet TV. All right, I'm back with you. Our next exercise is called hammers. And the way to do this is the same athletic stance. You're gonna roll your shoulders back. You're gonna come up here halfway, like you're putting them on a table. And I want you to squeeze and pause right there. That's three already. Remember, I'm doing 20. Five. Watch my form. Six. We're still working bicep. Seven. But really squeeze that muscle. You want to engage. You never wanna just throw them up there and down carelessly. You want to engage on the way up, squeezing, and control it on the way down. You're even going to feel this in your tricep. Good job, keep going. Woo! Now if fives are too light for you, remember I told you, you got to go heavier. Do not be afraid to build muscle. Muscle is a girl's best friend. Woo! Here we go. 13. Come on. Let's do it together. 14. 15. 16. I love hammers because they're so focused. 18, 19, and 20. Good job. Put them down. Again, if you're experienced and you're working out hard and you're already above this level, you go heavier. Or you can add cardio in between sets, which is what I do at some other of our workouts. And today, I wanted to show you that you can work out just by doing your weight training. And then you want to add your cardio at the end. Always try to do some kind of cardio every day. You know that the government recommends 45 minutes of exercise five days a week. We gotta get it done. We're gonna do it together. Because we're gonna get our best body ever. We're gonna do it with me right here on Jana TV. Let's go. Good job. Squeeze them up. Control. That's it. Woo! I'm feeling it. I know you are too. Yes. Woo. Three more. Come on, finish strong. Two. Last one, hold it. Yes, good job. We have one more set. I'm gonna put it down for a second. Towel off, get your water. We got one more set. Let's grab the weights again. Here we go. Now watch my form. Ready, go. Two, three. Four. My whole body's engaged. Breathing properly. Come on. Seven. Good form. Eight. You look good. I see you. Ten. Yes. Eleven. Woo! Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Come on. Last four. Last three. Last two, and one. Good job. Now, we're gonna do some cardio at the end, okay? What I want you to do today is 100 jumping jacks. We're gonna do them together. Are you ready? Right here. We're gonna finish strong. Jumping jacks are great because you're using your whole entire body. Woo! And you know what, it's like child's play. Remember we did these from the playground? In PE. Well, now your kids are doing them, and we're gonna do them right there alongside. We already got 20. Come on, count them up. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 
And you want to come full range of motion, touching your fingers on top. You see how I'm doing this? If you're just starting out, you can go less, okay? You don't have to go with big range of motion. If you're really into it, you go bigger. Challenge your body, push your body. Woo! Push that body to change that body. Like my partner says, that's a great say. You gotta push. Come on, we got 65. Come on, we're almost at 70. There we go, 70, 71. We're almost there. I know you can do it. Let's go. Woo! 80, 80. We're almost there. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. I'm so proud of you. 97, 98. 89, 100. Good job. Did you think you could do 100 jumping jacks? I bet you didn't think so, but we did them together. You want to always cool down. You always want to finish with a nice stretch. I'm just going to go through it quickly with you guys. You're going to do it. And remember, always stretch out for a couple of minutes. Flexibility is a main component of fitness. Don't get lazy. I will see you right back here for our next workout on Dan TV, your best body ever.